Good day, everybody. It's Christy from OK Keto. I know it's been a while. I've gotten several emails saying, where have you been? How are you doing? When are you going to make a video? So I'm just going to give you a little life update for right now. So since we've been away from the channel, um, some major things have happened. Our son has left for another deployment for a year to a year and a half. So that's been stressful, not being able to travel to see him or him coming home because of the whole, you know, pandemic thing going on in the world. So that was stressful. Um, we have also decided to transfer up to Ohio. So we had to put our house on the market. We packed up everything, a semi-trailer, picked up our things yesterday and it's headed up to Ohio. We're still gonna be in Oklahoma for Mike and I, two to three more weeks as we close on our home. And we plan on building a home up close to family. Uh, Miranda is going to continue to live in Oklahoma, so she has already moved out. Now with her diet and lifestyle, she has come off of keto and went to paleo, which we did paleo before in the past as a family, and it worked out well for her, and so that's the direction she has gone, and I'm fine with it as long as she's healthy, and that's what she's doing it for is health. Mike comes and goes off of keto. Um, he does his own thing. I really don't pay too much attention anymore to it. I mean, he wasn't doing it too much for health. He was doing it more to lose weight, so he'll come on and go off, and that's fine. I'm not, that's him, not me. I've stuck to keto. I have not tracked, though, in three weeks, and if you know me, you know I'm a staunch supporter of tracking because it really does help me. It's just a personal thing, but, Packing up my scale, I have not been able to get on the scale and I've been so busy getting the house prepared to sell that I just did not track. So I don't know what the scale says. Now before I packed up the scale, I did go up about five pounds, but my clothes are fitting great. I probably, you know, took that five pounds off. I'm not exactly sure yet, <laughs> but uh, you know, being indoors and everything else, I. I did never come off of keto, it's just say too many keto treats and desserts and uh, too frequently. So I am going to rear that back in, especially now that the house is all packed up, we're just in the closing process and I don't have to worry about all that anymore. So that's a good thing. And another good thing is, if you've been following me for a while, you know that I've said my family and friends in Ohio. I've said, you know, if you were here, I could do keto because you would be here to help me. Well, here's the opportunity. I get to see how well that will work out. I get to go up there and help my family and get them on the keto train. So that's exciting. That's some good news to look forward to. So yeah, that's just our little life update. That's the stress that we've been under and uh, I've kept it keto. Like I said, I... I did indulge a lot on keto treats and uh, probably more so eating more frequently is probably what caused the scale to go up, to be honest with you. Um, I did leave out my little chaffle maker and that's what I've been eating um, lately. I packed up pretty much the rest of my kitchen. So, you know, I, you know me, I love my chaffles and they actually do help me to lose the weight. So we'll see how well it really does work out once I get up to Ohio and able to get to my things again. And I will be able to make more videos once I arrive there. So that is my life update and where we stand right now. So you might see Miranda, I might make one video with her before I head out to Ohio. Like I said, she is gonna to continue to live in Oklahoma. She has a great job here, you know, her boyfriend and so on. And I suspect she'll be getting engaged soon and married soon as well. So Oklahoma is her home now. And uh, yeah, so that's my little life update and I'll see you soon. Have a good one.